Question of the Week from the Naked Scientists. This week we take apart that old solar-powered exam friend, the calculator. Hello, my name is Alison Macho and I live in London. And I was wondering, how does a calculator work? How can it make complex calculations in nanoseconds? Also, how does it display the result on the screen? Assuming you're not using something that's steam-powered and has camshafts, it probably works something like this. Hello all, my name is Jeffrey Zillahi. I'm currently a math teacher in Philadelphia, and I have a math consulting firm, mathgurus.info. So, we all know that calculators are these fast little machines that can do calculations at incredible speed and have served to make humanity a more computationally exact species. But exactly how do they work? Well, whether you're talking about a scientific, financial, graphing, or even a calculator on your phone, they all work in a similar fashion. In a nutshell, calculators, just like their big brother, the computer, work by understanding everything in terms of two states. We call this binary, and specifically those two states are given as either a zero or a one. So when we press buttons on a calculator, those buttons are connected to sensors that send electrical currents to the integrated circuitry of the calculator. This circuitry contains transistors that build up a logical framework for solving any given calculation. And the more transistors present, the more advanced the functionality of the calculator is likely to be. Transistors use electricity to be in an on state indicated by a 1 and off indicated by a 0. So when the calculator wants to add two numbers, it first converts those numbers into binary. For example, a 4 would be represented as 1, 0, 0, and a 2 would be represented as 1, 0. From there, the process of addition is dictated by each column either summing to 0, 1, or two ones, in which case a 1 would go into the next column, since calculators cannot comprehend a 2. Once the calculator has the answer, since it is in binary, it turns on a series of lines and or pixels to create the visual match of the number that we understand, which is decimal, or as mathematicians call it, base 10. Part of the reason why calculators are so quick is because at their core, they're relying on electrical impulses, which travel at the speed of light. So calculators, much like computers, translate everything into binary or base 2, because it allows numbers to be translated into electrical signals that are either on, 1, or off, 0. To display an answer, it then sends this information to its LCD screen. And as those of you with any sort of LCD TV monitor or clock may know, these displays work by placing a voltage across a layer of molecules, which are layered between filters. And the changing voltage will make these liquid crystals appear opaque or transparent. But from pooling answers to pooling genes, is modern medicine affecting the future of the species? Hi. My question is, should we be worried about the future of the human genome? And what I mean by that is, we no longer reproduce based on the strongest survives. Medical science has gone to a point where many people live to adulthood who would have never lived 50, 100, 300 years ago. Many of us wouldn't be here to smell the roses and make splashes in puddles if it wasn't for modern medicine. So what will this mean for generations of the future? Send your answers to chris at thenakedscientist.com, write them on the forum at thenakedscientist.com forward slash forum, you can Twitter at Naked Scientists, or you can find us on Facebook. Question of the Week is part of the Naked Scientists podcast and supported by the Wellcome Trust and UK Fast. Look us up online at nakedscientists.com.